All right, so I guess we're rolling here. I'm going to uh, smoke a cigar right now, Monte Carlo, actually. And, uh, fuck, I thought I'd tell another one of my stories, man. I kind of like telling the stories on the, on the thing, on the YouTube. I mean, I send them to some of my friends and my family, you know. So, I don't really care if, you know, nobody really watches them. I don't get any views. But, uh, it's fun to tell them and fun for, uh, some of my, uh, family and friends to see these. And my, hell, they might even remember the time I'm talking about, you know. So, uh, <laughs> this is one from back, uh, when I was in college. Which, a lot of my craziness was from when, back in those days. I was taking physics, and um, this physics class, and and there's this chick in there, and you know she was cool. She was kind of wanted to be my friend for some reason, you know, and hang out with me and study physics together. I can't quite remember her name, but it might have been Sarah or something, and. Uh, I don't know, like, one, one night, me and my buddy, see, I lived in this apartment downtown, and uh, my buddy lived right below me. I lived on the third floor, he lived on the second floor, and right across the street from us was the courthouse, with the judge and the lawyers, this big-ass courthouse was right, right across the street from where we lived, and the courthouse has this, like, these lawns real beautiful lawns and they have like this walkways and and you know and steps and raised beds and like all these cut out areas it's almost like a little park I mean it's very very small it's too small to be a park but it's it's a well done groundwork and so I used to go in there with my friends in the nighttime and just kick the soccer ball around in there <laughs> and I, I would fuck we would play goalie wars and the, the goal was like the building, the side of the building, you know, we were just smashing the ball on the side of this courthouse. <laughs> Sometimes right in the window. I mean, I, I kicked the ball a couple times and the window was like, pow! You know, I almost busted that motherfucker. But, uh, so anyways, I lived there and uh, that's how we did it back in the day, you know, we didn't really... <laughs> give a shit that much but one time uh and so we lived right downtown next to all these bars it was like walking distance to all the bars so we were going to the bars all the time hanging out meeting people dancing just having a good time it was a very good time and uh my buddy was this russian dude the musician guy and uh we used to party a lot together and drink a lot and he had this uh all these instruments and we would just get drunk as hell and just start playing all and record our shit. And I would play the keyboard, the drums. I would do like, get on the vocals. We're just drinking, getting drunk, getting fucked up. We're playing saxophones, clarinets, trumpets, uh, all the instruments, xylophones. I had some xylophones down there. I mean, we were just having a good time, having some fun music, just blasting out some music. You know, we always sucked, <laughs> but uh, it was pretty fun. But anyways, um, one night this chick, you know, from my physics class, she called me up and uh, she's like, "Yeah, we're down at the bar right now, you know. Won't you, you and your friend, come on down? You know, I have I'm with my friend too." So we're like, "All right." I called uh, D and I was like, "Let's go." So we went down to the bar and we started hanging out with these chicks, and you know, D, you know, and, and the other girl, they got along, and you know, me and this girl from phys physics class, where you know, we were having fun together. Oh, uh, we went a little bar hopping, had some drinks, and it started getting late, and they wanted to go back to our place. So I was like, all right, cool, hell yeah. So they followed us back, and they, you know, and and then D's girl went in his apartment, and then uh, the the girl that, you know, was, was in my physics class, you know, she went to my apartment. And so we were hanging out in there, and it was getting late, and I was like, okay, you know, here's my bed, you know, let's, let's get in bed here. 
But she said, like, you know, she was on her period. And I was like, oh, man, fuck. So, okay, you know, we'll just lay together and hang out tonight. And then, like, we passed out. And the next thing I remember, it was 7 in the morning, and the sun's shining in my, my room, and she's like, oh, shit, it's 7, I gotta go, I gotta go, freaking out. And I was like, what the fuck? You know, and I'm like, hey, all right, yeah, let's go, you know, I gotta get my friend, let's go, let's go. She's all freaking out and shit, she's got to get the hell out of my place. I'm like, damn, all right, you know, so okay. So I took her downstairs, and then we opened up uh, Dee's door on the second floor, and they were both passed out in the bed, you know, and it just looked fucking hilarious. And so then that girl, she, they left, and then they said, okay, um, they invited us to come to their place next week. And they had this house in the suburbs. And so we're like thinking like, all right, hmm, you know, they're inviting us to their place. Yeah, it sounds good, you know. We're going to get some. And so we waited for the day to come. It was a Wednesday night. <laughs> and uh, I had a little, small little bag of uh, of Coke. And I was like, should I, you know, do this before I go? And then I was like, nah, I'm just going to go over there fresh, you know. Bring some beers, hang out with these girls, you know, and hook up with them. So we went in, we, we got these beers, going over there pretty much straight. And uh, trying to be cool. And we like, bing bong, rung the doorbell, like me and my buddy D. And then the girls answered, and they're like, hey, hey, oh, come on in. And we went in their place, and immediately, we went, as soon as we entered the, the house, it stunk like shit. We were shocked, like, oh, what the fuck? It was just pff, like this rock, this shit smell everywhere like the house smelled like animals i was like damn you're like <laughs> you know what i mean i'm like oh what is what is this shit going on what is this place and they had all these pets they had fucking all the animals it's like a zoo in their apartment they had lizards and turtles and fucking cats and dogs and it was just I mean, they had an iguana in there. <laughs> it was just fucking crazy. And we were like, whoa, you know, this place is just too disgusting, you know, to fucking to hang out in. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then they invited some other dudes over. We're like, what the fuck? You know, <laughs> this is all fucked up. So D and I were like, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. So we were so frustrated, we're like walking back. Walking all the way back to our place from this, uh, you know, neighborhood area, suburbs area, you know. We were walking back to our place downtown, and we were just like, fuck it. Let's just get take these beers and get fucked up tonight. <laughs> like, yeah, fuck yeah. We had class the next day, Thursday. And so we went in there. We started drinking. We were full fucking frustrated. We just started doing the small amount. I think it was like a like a quarter gram or something of uh, of coke and we you know it wasn't that much it was already late and we just, just started getting fucking ripped like rah, 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 talking so much playing music having some good times and then the sun started coming up you know it was like five in the morning and i was like man let's go kick that fucking soccer ball around at the courthouse i didn't even realize it was a weekday you know, and uh, it was five in the morning. We went down there. We started playing soccer and on the courthouse lawns, and we were just so high that we were just like running around playing soccer, kicking the ball, and just having you know having a great exercise. And then the sun starts coming up, and there's like all these fucking lawyers with suits and ties walking around. And they're looking at us like, "What the fuck is going on?" The news came, and we're like. Holy shit, we gotta get the fuck out of here. So we finally kicked the ball, picked it up, and walked right across the street to our apartment and went in there. I mean, uh, those people must have been shocked. Like, what the, who the fuck are these weirdos playing soccer on the courthouse lawn?
Yeah, and a fucking cat. Yeah, that was the craziest thing about that night. Was somehow a kitten got into the goddamn apartment. And there was like, it was a stairwell. You know, like I was at the top. D was on the second floor. And then there's a restaurant on the first floor. And there's some stairwell that separated us from the restaurant. And uh, there was a, we got back and there was a, a kitten going like, so we were like we got that grabbed that kitten and we put it in the room playing drums, playing music before the night really started, you know, and then we I took it into my apartment and uh and we started getting fucked up and then we went out and played soccer and I forgot that the fucking kitten was still in my apartment. Totally forgot about it. <laughs> and when I came back in there, man, a fucking kitten pissed in my bed. I was like I was so ready to just like lay my down like a, a sack of wet towels on the fucking pillow. And as soon as I walked in my apartment, I was like, fuck, it fucking stinks in here like cat piss. I had to take all that shit out of my place. And then I passed out on the couch, you know. But, um, yeah, that was one hell of a story. That was one hell of a night. <laughs> Crazy shit I did in my life. <laughs> Crazy as hell. I get a lot of dried big in this uh, poor Jaranaga Monte Carlo. It's got a, a, a cocoa note. It's pretty good too. You know, it's just a very good staple cigar. You know, something that you can smoke on the cheap because these cigars are very inexpensive and they are quite good. Mm -mm. A little like sour cherry I would say. A lot of dried fruit in this uh, smoke here in the first third. Definitely, a lot of dried fruit. Mm -mm. Pretty good, pretty good to still be able to do this. Times are getting tough, you know. Everybody's acting the fool. I don't know why everybody's so goddamn scared. Fucking don't be so scared. This shit ain't nothing, man. People get sick, and they get better. It happens all the time. Don't be so goddamn scared. If Rand Paul can get sick and recover in like what? What was it, like a week? He, he recovered his... 60-year-old senator from Kentucky, he got coronavirus, and one week later, he's totally recovered and, he and volunteering in a hospital. Pretty ganky, pretty active, pretty healthy. 60-year-old dude. If he could get it and recover, then everybody can recover. It's, a, it's no big deal. Stop fucking worrying like everyone thinks they're going to die if they get the fucking thing. Everybody's so goddamn scared. Stupid, pathetic. Fuck y'all scared of. Everybody's gonna get sick and everybody's gonna die. So just enjoy the moment. Live free. I mean, don't sacrifice your fucking freedoms for some safety bullshit that you're never gonna get. That's stupid, man.
That's what everybody's doing. <laughs> I can't believe how scared Americans are. I mean, what happened to that country for the last 10 years? I've been gone 10 years and I don't remember it this ridiculous. People are fucking scared as shit over there. When you stop being scared, that's the day that you become a free man. And there's nothing to be scared of. Nothing. They can't do shit. They can't do shit to you. They can't touch you. What are they going to do? Throw your ass in jail? Eh, whatever, man. Kill me? Never gonna kill me. Never. Never gonna break my spirit. Impossible. So just don't worry. You die, pew, you go on and you be free. Free of this bullshit to live some other kind of a life. You know? That's all it is. Death is just a transition. From one type of reality to another type of reality. So, the death of the dollar is what's happening now, you know. It's one reality transferring to another reality. So, nothing to be scared of. Scar smoking good. Friday night, just having a good time, talking some bullshit, and telling one of my stupid ass stories.